And we are going to go on over to, uh, oh, don't tell me the client's going to do this thing again. This is really annoying that it does this. What does it do? Oh, nope, it didn't. Okay, we're good. Uh, it's it's actually fine. It's going to go over to Oplano versus Kochan Piwo right now. All right. So it's one to one currently. I'm going to get stuff updated here real quick, and then we will... Uh, Talk about this real quick, so. Four. Boom, boom. All right, so Oplano, coach on Pulo. Oplano, Ryko, Frankie, Malteser, Revo, Kama, Yip, Zombie, or Cosmic, Wolf against coach on Pulo, Skyrovania, Aldrich, Opap, Pemex, Tebby, James Nays with Samoyed. Um, oh my God, I can't see what I'm doing here. Um, Right. These are both teams that I'd expect to see here, but I'm also like kind of surprised. So we have like D I thought Oplano was gonna have a, a chance to be on winner's bracket at this point, or at least like just not down. Like they would have lost this one, and I'm frankly like very surprised. Like just honestly, I'm, I'm very surprised about the the performance of Coach Ampivo. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I feel like they've been, like, overperforming super, super hard compared to what I expected out of them. But, uh... I gotta give them credit. So, just to run down really quickly, um... As you saw on the screen as I was hurriedly updating that, we had DT2 and Nomad 5 banned out by Coach Ampivo, so they banned out basically speed. Um, and then Oplano banning out Nomad 6 and Hard Rock 1, so the, the Rhythm Nomad and then, you know, kind of the AIM Hard Rock that we just saw at the end of the last match. Um, Hidden 3 first pick for Oplano that they won, Nomad 4 first pick for Coach on Pivo that they won, uh, and now going into double time number 3, Theno. And that is the, uh, the quick update on what's going on here. Okay. Funnily enough, um, Coach on Pivo has the lowest BWS average of Eighteen. Yeah, I they thought that was bottom. yeah, I thought that was pretty crazy actually. But they're like still alive as the number thirty-two BWS seed. Goes to show that you know seeding really doesn't mean that much in this tournament. The yeah, way, the way the teams are formed, like it's just seeding is actually. Irrelevant. You know what would be funny? What's that? If Coach and Pivo actually win this. Number 32 seeded team going to, what would that be, top six at that point? That'd be pretty insane, actually. And... So this is kind of an expected pick, I guess, if you know that uh, the other team banned DT2 and Nomad 5, like, the next, you know, kind of speedy map. Okay, before I got rudely interrupted, I was gonna say the the funny thing is that if Coach and Pivo wins this, they would be against possibly the first seed. Oh well, they would have to. They would still have another match tomorrow, I guess. I didn't even think about that. Which would be uh, legit players or crystal clear. Legit players is the number one seed. Oh, they are. Yeah. I was thinking. Oh, I, you know, I was thinking of team one, not seed one. Team one, which is uh, stinky cheese. All right. Triple FC for Oplano. Uh, Malteser and Bryko actually gaming right now. What the hell is that accuracy? If two players over 99. Actually, Eldritch is at 99 as well. Eldritch is good at speed, though. Uh, I mean, it's not surprising out of the people, but it, like in the context of everybody else's accuracy, 99s are insane. Triple FC for Oplano. Double FC for Coach on Piwo. So this one's going to stay pretty close. Samoyed having some trouble, but he's actually still ahead of Kama because, I don't know, Scorby 2. Oh, there goes Aldrich. Okay. Well, that's going to seal that. Quarter of the map left, 400k, 500k lead. This is uh, impressive stuff from Oplano. That accuracy is staying pretty high on Malteser and Raikoho, both over 98. And uh, looking like they both might finish out FCs here. Hemix with the FC for Coach on Piwo, but 
little lower accuracy, and just not a lot he can do with the team being overall lower scores. It's going to be a million points or so for Oplano. Very impressive stuff overall. I feel oh, like... well, teaser slider broke. I've seen three oh, people now no. slider break on that last slider. It's like they misaimed the first uh, first tick or something. Uh, they just think it's going to go the other way. Yeah. Well, it's still a million million point win for Opano. Okay, so are we gonna get another freaking speed yeah, cap map? That, that's dude? what I was gonna say. Like, <laughs> this is the same stereo, like the same type of match. The very speedy team with good mechanics, good speed, versus the team that wants to pick the weird stuff, <laughs> the alt maps, the Nomad Sixes, the Loyars. God, yeah, pretty much. Um. Also, uh, just. I just I just took a look at the um, match costs for great suggestions versus stinky cheese. Um, Utami got one point eight three. Okay, that's yeah. messed up. Wait, this, I think it got the score wrong somehow too. It says they won, and I don't know why. Oh, it probably took off the first two maps. No, I, I put in no. It says six four, just the oh. right number of maps, but it thinks they. Lost two maps that they won two maps that they lost. Apparently, I don't know how it's doing that. I have no idea. Time to ping uh, Leo. Somebody ping Leo and be like, "What the hell, dude?" Well, the the final score doesn't actually affect the match costs, but I'm very confused how that happened. Wait, they, they didn't even get the team colors right. Wait, it's it has the team colors wrong. That, that's probably it. It has, yeah. It was the blue team won six to four, and it has the teams with the wrong. How is okay? What is this doing? Oh, no! What on, on our end, we had the red team winning six to four. Yeah. I don't know. It's the it's freaking Osu client doesn't handle team colors very well. Anyway, Nomad three is the pick here for Coach MPO. So like you said, kind of picking the weirder stuff, right? We're going into the kind of awkward alt uh, Nomad. I'm a little surprised about this because I, I thought the consensus of this map was just that it has some very very missable patterns. Oh yeah, absolutely does. the middle. Yeah, this map is giga shit missable. Like, really, really easy to just miss on a lot of different stuff in it. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, you've got some players who are very good at alt on both. Uh, probably on both sides, really, but, I mean, like, I feel like Tebby and Pemex. I and mean, obviously, like, Skyro will be good at pretty much everything. Alright, I'm seeing GLHFs coming out, and there's not anybody in slot one, so. Not actually sure about this one, guys. I think we still need another player. Ono needs uh, a D seed. It's gonna be Zombier coming in. everybody in chat to watch the unluckiest golf clip I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, <laughs> just looked at Twitter for a second in between maps and, and saw that. Alright, so Zombie Kama, Malteser, Raiko, Skyrovania, Tebby, James Nazareth, and Pemex in for Nomad 3. Second pick here for Team Kochan Piwo. You think that's supposed to be pronounced Kochan Pivo? It's like, more like a V? Because that's Polish, right? I don't actually know. Maybe the early break from Zombier. I think early it's Koham Kilo. Koham? Oh, it's, it's Hebrew? Kilo. It's Hebrew now? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, right. Polish is a weird language that I sometimes know how to pronounce and sometimes butcher complete. Kurva. <laughs> That's all I got. Alright, well, a couple early breaks from Oplano. Meanwhile, the four way staying alive for Kotan Pivo. Although Pemex with some 50s, that's uh, suboptimal.
I, I feel like there's like there's a couple patterns in this that are super shit missy, but a lot of the rest of it is relatively easy enough to combo, like assuming you're you're comfortable on kind of snap alt. Um, but you know, Zombie are showing that there is stuff to break on Skyro as well. Some of these little back and forth patterns and wiggle patterns. Boy, Zombie's having a rough go of things on this. Oh, maybe Oplano just didn't have a DC for this map. I don't know. Like either Zombie or Cosmic Wolf was gonna struggle. Eh, that was four people missing all at once. Maltese or Reiko Ho, Tebby, James Days with Skyro also. Literally Kama versus Pemex, and nobody else has over 100 combo, and there goes Pemex. All right, Kama, it is your time to shine. 1v7, and that is not shining, my friend. That is the opposite of shining. You shine red. <laughs> True. <laughs> he, shined, he shined the wrong color. All right, uh, so what do we have for combo here? James Naismith at 260 and nobody else over 200 for a little bit there? Yeah, like we said, it, this is like the shit miss map of the pool, I think. I love this part of the song, by the way. Part of the song it's is a so great good. song. Yeah, the song's really good. Uh, I actually think it's a general. great map as well. It's just not a very friendly tournament map sometimes. Yeah. Skyro just got like slow slider, but it wasn't even a slow slider. Fortunately for him, Zombier had missed like just before, and so had Maltese. He missed the slider head. Yeah. Uh, he just like went too far. That is uh, a familiar problem. I do that non stop. That's like 99% of my misses, I swear. Just over aiming slider heads. The other 1% is just the, the triple and there's the, the slider. Oh, the I don't want to talk slider. about it. <laughs> no, it's a double under a slider. Or it's either a double under a slider or a triple that I it's don't have to It's a triple rhythm note. that's simplified yeah. using a slider. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, by the way, Tebby is going, but Raikoho and Maltese are, are also going, so this could get very interesting here at the end. It's only 100k. Nope, just kidding. Raikoho and Maltese are both broke. I lied. It's not gonna get interesting. Yep, that's my... kind of just... He... He... I'm assuming the map's gender. The map is the male. Map, uh, <laughs> it, it, it gives you a combo and it's like, hey, isn't this map nice? You're having such a good combo and then it just takes it away. Yeah, and, and then it's like... A, face. Yeah, it's like, here's a nice little snap uh, pattern and you just miss. Also, like, can I just ask why they mapped this? Like, this could have just not been mapped. It's a full spread. It's not like they needed to map this to get it over five minutes so it could be a solo diff. Like, they just mapped this fade out ending for no reason at all. It, it, I, I don't understand it. Usually, I feel like mappers kind of ignore this sort of thing. I mean, depending on how long it is, you might need to cut the MP3, but I don't know. Sometimes. You just have a feeling, oh hey, this map will be nicer if I map the xylophone outro. So you just do it. I guess. Very nice place from both Tebby and Phoenix and Kama as well. Yeah, um... I kind of expected Tebby to do well in that. Actually, Panix did top score for uh, 499k. That was a big combo to start it. Uh, and also only having one miss was uh, pretty helpful. Sometimes I need to remind myself that Tebby is kitty. Yeah, I know. I, I keep that in mind because whenever I think about his skill set. D aka RT0, but not RT0, RT0 with an O, or with a zero, <laughs> one of them. Hidden number two is the pick from Oplano. Their third pick. Flowing tech with some Andrew doubles is yeah. what I gathered from the last time we saw this. Yep, that is spot on. And it's like, please don't, please, uh, with all due respect to Amuro, please don't do what he did. Like, pay attention and concentrate in the slow section as well as in the difficult sections, because that can be the difference between winning or losing the map. I, I don't know if it was just like, I don't know if it was like a lapse in concentration or exactly what, 
but you know, this is, like we said, this is a super shit missable map, and you always have to be, like, on top of things in it, because it's just easy to miss stuff. Every bit of combo you get is yeah. meaningful. Yeah, exactly. I'm missing something funny occurring, and I don't know what it is. Uh, you, you posted the, the TFT tweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How depressing. Imagine being that guy. You literally hit the stick, and it just rolls all the way back to your feet. We got so far. <laughs> Dude, I love PFT commentary. It's like one of my favorite Twitter accounts. Sometimes I'm... I just... Be because I follow, like, John Boys and... Uh... Espionation on Twitter. Sometimes I just get the occasional retweet, which is like baseball champion. It's just like a dude getting bopped in the face, <laughs> or just the grossest fielding error of all, like all of Pirates history. Huh. I just mentioned that there's three guys tied for first in the U.S. Open that go off this that are going to be teeing off this afternoon, and I've only heard of one of them. Um, that's why it's called the U.S. Open, because it's, uh, open. Mm, yes, of course. To new people and mm. new things. Alright, alright. It's a uh, very outgoing U.S. Oh, oh, buddy. Zombier is, uh, doing the thing that you do on this map. There goes Frankie as well. Okay. This is not how you want to start off your own pick here, gentlemen. Fortunately, there's a lot of maps still, but... Oh, Skyro, okay. Yep. Okay, Pemex, okay, okay. People just chain miss because that's what happens okay. on this map. If I had to guess, Opano thought, hey, we have Repersion, aka Frankie Dash. We probably got this in the bag because he can play this map. Yep. His accuracy is top of the lobby. Uh, actually, no, it's slightly behind James A. Smith. Not in to that. Oh, wait, Tebby, what? Tebby has 99.8. Okay. What? That's pretty good. His aim on those squares looks so interesting, but, like, it works. This is actually still very close. Oh, now it's not close, because Revo just kind of missed on not really much. Oh, no, that was such a sad slider break from Revo. Yeah. All right, well, Coach on Pivo is going to kind of take over on this one, especially with Zombier missing a...
my way through it um because it's it's like kind of intuitive but kind of unintuitive at the same time and it, it it's a big green screen and you have to chroma key the green out for the um actual gameplay windows uh, anyway tt1 seen uh a lot <laughs> this has been a very popular pick for good i feel like good reason like it's got a you know a little bit of speed requirement it's got a little bit of aim requirement it's got a triple ss through the first uh, little bit of combo there from oplano you'll love to see that double ss from coach on people meanwhile a rank fc is on somebody at Eldritch and cosmic <laughs> uh, it's like the duality of man right there when you get a 50 on like the first 50 combo of the map and there's a break yeah combo with the first actual miss combo break And Maltese are missing as well. This is not starting off super great for Oplano. Two misses before we've gotten to the halfway mark. Wait, Aldrich actually must... Or Aldrich actually did break, right? Yeah. Wait, no. I was going to say, I didn't think he had missed, but he's an A rank. So unless he missed literally the first note, I'm not sure what's going on there. He missed the first note. <laughs> oh, Samoyed and Maltese are trading. Okay. Steven A's with Oxpep, Aldrich, though, still on those FCs. It's going to take another break from Coach on Pio, if not two breaks. To make this come backable for Opano. Kama is not the right person to break, neither is Malteser. This is just gonna be Coach on Pivo, I'm pretty sure. They'd have to basically full reset because we're coming into the last quarter already, so that was very short. Okay, there goes Opep. And, oh, okay, well, it happened. Opep and Eldridge both broke. Uh, it's 200k, which is actually come backable because they've still got 400k of score to make up between Cosmic Wolf and Rekoho uh, if they FC. So this is technically doable. It's very, it's gonna be very close, but it should come back over because those FCs build a lot of score in the last couple hundred combo. Opep breaking again, I see breaking again. Yeah, it's gonna go over. The double FC is too clutch from Oplano. Oh, Cosmic Wolf broke at the end, but it was still enough. They made up enough score. Yep. Dude, Nazwood does finish out the FC with uh, pretty good accuracy, but Raikoho outdoing him by 300s. And uh, the pick goes to Oplano. That one just goes in a hurry. Like, if you miss near the end where, like, Aldrich did, I mean, you look at his score. He literally lost 300,000 plus points, uh, and he only missed 200 combo from the ending. That's just how much score there is at the end of that map. And but it, it was enough. Malteser, 0 hundreds, 250s, 4 misses. That's a weird scoreline. That's a weird scoreline. I, wait, I ruined it. How did I ruin it? What did I ruin? Excuse me? I'm just here analyzing what is ongoing in the map, friends. That's all I'm doing. Also, if you're watching the stream while you're playing, I feel like that's not a good idea. That's a great idea. Dog. <laughs> not a when dog moment. Alright, well, we are still uh, pretty level here. Once the break point came back. Ooh, and we're getting free mod too. Okay. Sys 5 or 8 Like you said, Coach on Pivo, the team that wants to pick kind of the weird stuff. Whereas Oplano, the team that wants to pick more into the mechanics. Here. Okay, my thing doesn't show. That was a red pick. It's a blue pick. There we go. I don't know if the map build screen is actually right anymore. I had to mess around with it so much, but I think it is. I feel like this map is so deceptively difficult because mechanically speaking, it, it really doesn't bring a lot to the table, but it's just, you know, like the finger control and stuff in it um, is what kind of stands out. And you see people not having the best time sometimes. Yeah, no, for sure. It has, like, perfect stacks, if I recall correctly. It has a uh, small CS, and it's just uh, uncomfortably BPM. Like, for the patterns it has, it's a, a very hard BPM to actually get used to. Pretty sure this is a circles only left. So there's no sliders to slider break. Alright. 
see what happens. Opano wants to get a break point. This would be a good place to do it. But uh, Coach on Pivo has looked pretty good on these types of maps. Double Hard Rock on Raikoho and Revo. Hard Rock on Skyro, hidden on Pemex. Tebby James Naismith on the Nomad. I think Tebby's kind of the, the rock on this one from what I've seen of him typically. Raikoho 86% through the first 80 combo. Yip with a break in the first 15 combo down at 92% there for a while. Yeah, you can kind of tell the comfort levels on this map very quickly, can't you? Or not, I guess, because the client can just freeze a whole bunch. Just all going to be about the finger control and these doubles and the, uh, the bursts that show up. Also, you get into those little weird streams a little bit later on. They make kind of a circle shape that you do have to aim. James Maysmith is going to be the first to break for Coach on Pivo. That's going to give combo lead over to Oplano. Yip just breaking in the first, like, 15 combo. So, act difference keeping Coach on Pivo alive, and Zombie are missing to match right after Pemex. And here we go into those streams. Revo Yip both breaking, as does Pemex, as does James Naysmith. Tebby and Skyro are going to have to hold on here, but it is just Raikoho with an FC for Oplano, so... Feeling decent here for Coach on Pivo, as really expected. I mean, they're just kind of better at this type of skill set. Ebi is a big carry on this kind of map, I think, later on in tournaments, especially as long as he doesn't get super skill capped. Yeah, Tebi, Chesbrew. Yeah. Both very well renowned, like, gimmick for hidden players. Yeah. Tebi just really good, like, at finger control and stuff as well. I mean, you can tell from his accuracy being so much higher than everyone else's other than Pemex, uh, he's a, a percent or two. Whoa, Pemex just actually chain missed, so now it's like 2%. Yeah, this is just going to be the Tebby and Skyro show. But then we double FC this, actually. Yep. All you have to do is hit the little bit, the little stream here. Ah, Skyro misses on it. Unfortunate. But Tebby, very, very nice. I mean, it's no mod on the free mod map, so like, you take away a little from it maybe, but I still think that's a, that's a good FC. Not great scores from Oplano. Uh, Rego managed to get 866k despite 92% accuracy. Uh, hard Rock. Honestly, but... respect. Yeah, I can respect, <laughs> I can, respect I, I can respect that score. Skyro at almost the exact same, actually 8k higher than him, but uh, just a big story there. Tebby having the FC, that was a big, uh, like a huge amount of score that nobody on Oplano could match. And we're now at 4-4, uh, which means it is the last pick for each team now. And so uh, we're going to get pretty tense here. Indeed. Also, uh, I just found out that Ekoro has a DT one miss on that map. That's <laughs> what? I feel like Ekoro is like oh, the wrong person for that. I would expect like Fancy Lot to have a DTFC. I don't think people have tried this with DT because there's literally yeah. five scores on the DT leaderboard. So but, I think people just haven't yeah, that, that, bothered with it. That's an absolutely insane DT. Yeah, that's score. a really ridiculous. Thank you, Nega, for randomly noticing that, I guess. Because that's like not even in. That's rank 31 on the map. I think nobody plays this map either. It's like CS5 Airy. Yeah. Nobody plays that kind of stuff in solo. CS5 Airy, um, like. Lossy finger map. control. Yeah. Finger control. I think there's some people who could DT that and it would be pretty sick, but uh Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> Alright, so Oplano last pick here for them. They can't okay, they can't go to DT4. No, that's I don't think not DT4 yeah. is the is the archetype they're looking for. It might go in the one too. I don't think there will no one, but maybe. You've got you've got Rupertion on your team, isn't Nomad too? Like okay, he's one of those people that I think you mentioned with it can like actually play that map pretty comfortably. Yeah, that's that's my thought. Or like, they, they can go hard rock teaser. Uh, hmm. I'm scared of that pick. This is uh... I'm scared of that pick because it's a very short map with very clear displays. Yeah, I mean two minutes long, two hundred BPM, six point five, like. Boy, this is risky. I think anything left at this point is kind of risky, so maybe it doesn't matter. But this feels pretty risky. Mm. 
Let me see who would play this. I think, um... Which of players may have just It's Spyro, Chemix, probably. Then Bonacore, Chandru? I was like, I can't remember which one of those is which. Steven is Bonacore, James is Chandru. Okay, Samoyed actually joining instead of Chazuru. Okay, that makes sense. Chazuru Hard Rock, probably not. Tebby is 6.5 beasts, says Bonacore in chat. Okay, I will trust you. I, Tebby's. Apparently, just... I am just wrong on every single one of them. Aldrich is actually playing the 6.5. Aldrich, uh, precision aim player, I guess? I believe that the other match just may have ended. I think it's uh, legit players winning at six to two. Yes. Utsuha. I can't confirm that. Utsuha one missed as did, as did Badu on uh, Nomad One. That's unfortunate. Badu also FC'd Strawberry's Wake with ninety eight point eight ac. That's really good accuracy on that map. Yeah, I'm just completely wrong on every single pick that I said. <laughs> Tabby Samuel had Aldridge Opep. <laughs> Ready to hoe? Ready to hoe? Yes? Get your mind out of the gutter? Thank you. Ready to hoe. I am ready to hoe. Alright, so that means uh, we're underway here. Raiko Ho, Cosmic Wolf, Malteser, Yip. I think that's a pretty good hard rock roster, but. We it is. Yet. Aldridge Opep is also, I think, pretty decent at this. We'll, we'll see. This is another one of those maps that, like, it's 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 not that hard, but it's also easy to be bad at at the same time. Like, it's really kind of uh, uh, polarizing in that sense, where you, I've seen people get 200k on it, but I've also seen, like, teams double F seeing it. So, it's just one of those picks that... It's a skill set that you can either play or you can't. There's Tabby with the early break. Cosmic Wolf matching right after, though. Okay. Anybody have good accuracy? Yes, Yip has good accuracy. Yip, yeah. the, Yip the Hard Rock right. player. Uh, also Eldritch. Accuracy lead and a combo lead for Oplano. And there goes Samoyed, so that's going to be uh, even more combo lead. And heavy breaking once again. Well, this is going to be Oplano, because they are already up by 300k almost. Oh, Yip does break, though. It would... Already halfway through, 300k... Well... It's... It's comeback. technically comebackable. Uh, Opep and Eldritch both have to FC, and you have to get at least one, if not two more breaks from Oplano. And it has to be pretty soon, because we're already coming into the last third to last quarter of the map. I don't think it's comebackable anymore. I think there's too much combo on Oplano, too big of a lead. This is really nice stuff from Raikoho, and then uh, Maltese or Cosmic Wolf with pretty solid combos backing him up. Doesn't even matter that Yip just broke again. I go with a late miss, but Opep had just broken as well. So yeah, gonna be Oplano taking this one by three or four hundred thousand points. Unlucky Maltese a reverse choke. That's a really nice okay. accuracy from him as well. Ninety-eight point four. It's really nice accuracy from most of uh, Oplano. Yeah. Cosmic Wolf being the only one who's a little bit left behind, but still with a really nice combo. Yep, 98, 98, 98. Meanwhile, uh, 96, the highest on Coach on Pivo. So, good stuff from Mopano. It ended up being a better pick for them than we might have thought. And, uh, well, last pick of the match now, Coach on Pivo. Where have we seen this before? Literally. Uh, Literally just yeah. now. Yeah, like just an hour, not even an hour ago. We were in the same situation. Team on the right hand side, having the last pick in the match. Down 4 5, trying to themselves alive so so what would they pick yeah um let me look at the pool here let's see come on client switch over so i don't have to switch over my own thank you so it's nomad one nomad two dt4 free mod one free mod three um okay call I... me crazy they're not gonna pick the one they're not gonna pick the much mm, dt4 they're 
DT4 might be the pick. Or Free Mod 1. But the problem with Free Mod 1 is the mechanics, like, the mechanics involved with actually playing the map. Because, in theory, the stats, everything, the density favors you. But since it's, a uh, it's like 2, I want to say 240? Uh, 234, yeah, close enough. 234, yeah. Free Mod 3. It's that kind of, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just it's it's none of the none of the above. <laughs> okay, picking. they will gamble their lives, their tournament lives, on the one three streaks. Yeah, pretty much, man. I I I think I would have rather seen DT four as the pick here, to be honest. But I can see where they're coming from with this, like just saying we have you know the the mod players and the relative consistency, and we're able to play the slightly awkward sections of this map. I don't know. This is risky, though. I mean, in theory, you think, okay, Repression plays as easily, Yip plays as very well, Cosmic Wolf plays as very well, Revo probably. I think everyone plays as decently well. It's just like whether you can hit that 1 3 section consistently and not break until that. Yeah, you you kind of have, you have to like you get there is is like the most important thing. Get to that section and then get to that section on. and then you can miss maybe, but just get to that section with like 600k. Also, I'm gonna throw out the like D seed diff on this one. I feel like Opano's D seeds have been circling a lot in this match. While James Naismith and Samoyed have at times had been a little bit stronger. So curious to see how Cosmic Wolf does on this one. But, uh... I mean, Cosmic Wolf hasn't been that bad, I thought. Mm. Uh, In theory, way. this is the one map where he and Chesbrew can probably play it just as well. Maybe it was uh, Zombie that I was thinking that was having a little more trouble. Cosmic Wolf is doing a little better on his picks. Yeah... So, one hidden, one hard rock per team. Frankie, the hidden stream player. No surprise there. Revo hard rock. Pemex hard rock, Tebby hidden. Oh boy. I don't know. This is just so scary. This is such a scary situation to be in. Also, is this going to be the last map in two different matches? Or or, or what? Because like it was the last map in uh, Woken Mongolia versus, uh, versus the method as well. Oh. So it could potentially be the last map here, also. <laughs> I mean, knock on wood, I guess? I mean, it just happens. It's kind of one of those funny coincidences more than anything else. Ooh, James Nays with early, early break. But Cosmic Wolf training, okay! The DC is... Uh, the DC... The, <laughs> the DC what's the experience? opposite of diff? <laughs> uh, the DC similarities. The DC equivalents. Oh, okay, the DC balance. <laughs> Everybody else holding just fine. I mean, they missed literally 20 combo apart. Uh, it is better accuracy for Mr. Naismith, but overall leads slightly to Opano, but it's basically yeah. not even. I'm gonna say it like I see it right now. Playing this with Hard Rock must feel so scary. Yeah, there goes Revo. Right as you said that, too. Yeah, the, the spacing on some of those bursts and like just the kind of linear aim patterns with Hard Rock. That's the terrifying. linear aim patterns, especially. Yeah. Just like you can miss at any point. Yeah, that's so scary with Hard Rock, dude. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be lead going over to Coach on Pivo. They hold on to some more combo with that break from Revo. Already halfway through here. Shoutouts to this pool for like not being super long for the most part. Like this map is relatively long, I think, but like most of the pool is pretty short, which is cool. Yeah, and we conveniently skipped a lot of the long maps. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't play Nomad match. One. Didn't play Hard Rock One. Didn't play. We played uh, Three Mod One. We played Nomad Three though. Nomad Three, and and we missed Nomad Four because it was played before we before we joined, I think, right? So oh, like, yeah. that's another long one that was like already gone. All right. Well, as you said, you get to the hard part, and then you just. Hope to not miss, and it looks like most players are going to be doing exactly that. 900 plus combo on three members of Coach on Pivo and two members of Oath Plano. And into the guitar solo we go. This is going to determine the entire outcome, whether we go to tiebreaker or whether uh, Oplano can get a break point to win it. Very scared for everyone. Oh, Cosmic Wolf and Pemex instant trade. Nope! 
Ah, oh, that was so unlucky. Man, they didn't even get to it. Now we're in it. And there goes Cosmic Wolf again. Who's going to hit the one-thirds? Everybody else is going to hit the one-thirds. Another break from Rebel. Oh, there goes Frankie. I, that just did it, I think. Well, it's still a little bit longer, I guess, but that's going to be a lot of advantage. James stays within Skyro. Oh, and Pemex all break. So it's literally Tebby versus Yip, but it's a 300k lead, and I don't think it matters now because... At this point, it doesn't matter. Unless they literally stop playing. If Tebby, matter. like, quit out and Yip had FC'd, it could have mattered, like, sort of, but it still, I don't think, was enough to, to make it up on his own. So we are... We're doing it. The method. It is our second tiebreaker on stream of the weekend. That's very poggers. This is a hell of a play from Tabby, by the way. Hidden FC. Like, yep, Nomad FC is really nice. Oh, assuming they hit the ending, because I've seen people missing like the last 10 combo. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so many people miss at that like 1460 combo mark, dude. That last stream is really hard. Uh, that's still a really good play from Tabby, though. Like. Just missing that the last that last stream there. 1460-1480 combo is like where people miss. Yip with the FC, very nice from him, but just not enough. Unfortunately, Ultimately, I think everyone just did their job on that. Yep. For Kohan Pivo. They just had the the combos going into the top section. And that's basically what it came down to. Yep. Like was... The difference between Cosmic Wolf and Revo and Pamix and Chesguru was basically just yeah. Mm -hmm. Was get there and you can fuck up, but just get there. Now I don't actually know this tiebreaker. I, I know this song is amazing, but yeah. I don't know the tiebreaker. It's you... consistent. It's just it's just a, like a generic sort of tiebreaker, like pretty consistent okay. difficulty. A uh, couple of somewhat tricky streams. Um, the aim is not anything super crazy. I mean, it's it's enough aim to be seven stars, but it's not like over the top. I, I, I like hope this it's is not a, over like the top in terms of streams as well. No, no, there's like what two streams, three streams, and they're not like insane. Um, Enjoy your ping. But yeah, this is uh, just gonna be, you know, if you are a consistency player, like, this would be another one for ya. So, I actually expected repression here, but Raikou probably just as good. Yeah, as I, more consistent I, aim. I think, yeah, I think, like, it, excuse me, it trends more to aim than to streams. Um, so Raikou probably a little more comfortable on it than, uh, than Frankie, version. But... And I'll be very honest with you. Okay, never mind. Aldrich just left the lobby. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, Aldrich is not, yeah. Aldrich is not it for this. <laughs> he's like, this is, he's just, this that's is not the Skyro map. Yeah. If there's a Skyro map in the pool, it's the timer. Yeah, Skyro is a really good tiebreaker player. Just his his like overall consistency is really really high. Malteser in for this. Who's his seed partner? Um, oh, Revo. Yeah, Revo? I guess that's like just a coin flip, right? I mean, I don't think of either of them as being like a tiebreaker type player. Malteser, I just think of as like a speed player mostly, and Revo, I don't know, hard rocking. I think we are probably set here. We saw Zudi preference mod this, the only one that went mod yesterday. <laughs> yeah, let's hard rock the seven star. Let's hard rock the seven star tiebreaker. That sounds like a good idea, guys. Yeah, it's gonna be no no mods on anyone here. All right, so who's gonna be the bigger difference makers? Do we think is it like the the, the top seeds or the bottom seeds on this type of map? I don't actually know. Given that know. this is a a seven star, I expect. The top seeds, the A and B seeds, to maybe be able to see it. So if one of them have sees it, that's the difference. But if they all break, it comes down to the lower seed differential. 
Yeah. Now, I, I will note that, like, the match yesterday, nobody FC'd. I think the highest score was... The highest score was, like, 560k. There were a few people between 500, like, 500 and 560k, but nobody got, like, a really high score because the, the places you can miss are kind of towards the, more towards the middle of the map. Like, you can build up a decent amount of combo both at the beginning and the ending. Um, so if you break in kind of the expected places, your score is going to drop pretty drastically in a hurry. What? Here we go. Opep going to chain miss the entire first little burst stream there. That's not how you want to start out the map. Are you getting misses out of the way? Oh, James Day has been missed on the little one-third stream as well. Cosmic Wolf, though, finding his own break. So this is, uh... I, I, I actually I kind of forgot how much slider aim is involved in this one, too. Those are relatively tricky. Kind of unconventional aim patterns. So three FCs to two. Oplano in the lead. Nope, is gonna break on... not much. A little of frustration there from him. Just under aim, yep. sadly. Yep. And so we are... Level, actually combo lead to Kocham, Kocham Pivo by a very small margin. Come on, client. It's a freaking tiebreaker. Give me a break. Thank you. Alright. Well, this is staying quite close. Skyro full hundred that stream but didn't miss, so very fortunate. This is the this is a map where you will absolutely sacrifice uh, accuracy for combo because there's so many places to like maybe drop a slider end or lose a little bit of back on a burst, but as long as you hit it, I like, guess obviously the important part. About a third of the way through already. Oh, James Day's with with a break. I've seen some misses in that exact section yesterday, and we get another one here today. Combo advantage is going to stay over on the side of Opano, but Yip finding a break as well, so not quite. It's actually bad for them. That was one of their FCs. Heavy and Skyro still in the FCs for Coach on Piuo, and Opep with a big combo. And there go Cosmic Wolf and Yip both at the same time. That's a pretty big combo lead now for Coach on Piuo. They will take the lead over. See what they can do with it. Oh, Skyro looks so shaky, man. Skyro looks so shaky. Oh, and Maltese are another break. There's almost no combo on the side of Copano, but fortunately for them, Tebby finds a break on I'm not really sure what exactly, so it's just one FC to one. Oh, Raikovo and Skyro. Break. A sky a slider break, okay. That big combo on Opep is really helping Coach Apiwo right now. That's a big backing combo of 1k, just the early miss from him. Yeah, but uh, as long as Raikovo keeps his combo, there's still a chance. Yeah, it requires... Oh. Ta-da! I'm Not sorry! Oh man, Opet breaking on the stream, but so did Cosmic Wolf, so it's Skyro continuing the FC. Yip and Malteser have a little bit of combo, but it just doesn't matter now. It, it, Skyro holds on for just a little bit longer, he's gonna he's gonna hard carry this race team regardless of what, I, what happens anywhere else. He's gonna already have now- Oh, he breaks on the sliders! Jumps! Okay! Well, things just got very interesting, because it's, it's 200k though. 200k does not come back very fast in a tiebreaker. 200k is very, very big of a lead. It's, that being said, you've got 630 combo and 500 combo on Yip and Malt against 500 on Tebby and 300 on Opep. The, like, the gap That's... will come down, but just not quickly enough, I don't think. There's I just not enough time left. Yeah, the, the thing is, that's a, a big combo advantage at the start of the tiebreaker. Ooh, there goes Opep. Yeah, it's still, it's not enough time. Yeah, there goes Yip as well. Man, Yip and Maltese are both break. That's gonna do it. Coach on Piuo. The bottom seed of the tournament. So, yeah, the number 32 seed. Staying alive another day with a very well fought match and a very close tiebreaker. This is gonna end up being pretty close at the ending, like maybe 200k max. But that is going to do it. Ochan Piwo, 6 to 5 over Oplano. They eliminate Oplano from the tournament and they move onward in the loser's bracket.
by just under a 200k margin. That score from Skyro, as well as that gigantic combo from Tebby, those are two really impressive scores on that map. 647 and 560k. 585 from Raiko did pretty well, but just didn't quite have the backing score on the side of Oplano that they would have needed. Yeah, really well played from the BNC seeds there from Kohampiva. Yeah, and Tebby and Opap just did really well for themselves. Skyro beat out the A seed battle as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure every seed beat their individual seed opponent. So it's just a overall just a better performance from Kohan Pivo. And they'll be moving on to face legit players who just won their match 6 to 2. Yeah, that's going to be... <laughs> that's going to be a match. I uh... That has already been a match. That's the thing. Because this is a 1 versus 32 seed pairing. That was the first match of the tournament in terms of like bracket, and that match was six to five, and uh, it went to tiebreaker for legit players, and they won. So oh, yeah. Uh, that being said, I do think legit players arguably scale a bit better than Coach on Pua. We'll be able to uh, look at their MPs and like compare their scores and stuff from today's matches, but uh, I I feel like I. I think there's a small outscale from legit players versus Coach on Piwo, but it's going to be, I think, a very closely fought match no matter what, because Coach on Piwo looked quite good today on a lot of picks. Um, and I think, like, yeah. a, a and couple the of the maps... Is, like, <sighs> Go ahead. Um, oh, sorry. The, the thing is, um, legit players don't actually have the same capability of DT abuse that um, Oplano had. So the picks are going to be a lot more contested and they're going to be a lot more similar. Like the, the overlap in skill set is a thing there. Like even though you don't want to be picking the the Loyar against Boy Badu, they can pick the weird hiddens. They can pick the, the dense free mods. They can pick the alt maps. So it's going to be a, a contested match. That one's going to be a really, a really fun one. That's, I believe, tomorrow... I want to say tomorrow 16 UTC. Yeah, just tomorrow, 16 UTC, noon noon Eastern time, for those playing along at home. Um, and that, uh, that'll be the last match of our round. Coach on Puo versus legit players. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Everybody shows up for that one to watch, because we're going to have a good one. Um, but yeah. Big ol' congratulations to our winners today in, uh... Great suggestions over Stinky Cheese, Coach on over Oplano, Legit Players over Crystal Clear, and Welcome to Mongolia over The Method. Leaves us just one match left for the week before we move on to our finals. We'll have our top six decided at that point, so... Tournament just gets better and better. This year is so fun, man. So many good teams. Awesome. Thank you for being here, Amazing. Mr. Dada. I appreciate having you around for this match. <clears throat> no problem. It was my pleasure to commentate here <laughs> yeah. and watch these honestly really contested matches yeah, that we played yeah. for the stream today. Got some really good ones. Got lucky on that one. So we will see you guys tomorrow for the last match of semifinals week. Thank you again for watching. Thank you to the referees. Congratulations to the winners. Commiserations to the losers. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. And we will see you tomorrow.